the unit circle. First draw a circle, and split it into quadrants. Then draw three dots on the outside edges of each quadrant. And then you want to label them with the degrees. They go 0, 30, 45, 60, 90, and continue in a pattern of 30 plus 15 plus 15 plus 30. Next, we're just labeling how it would normally look on a graph of just 1, 0, 0, 1, negative 1, 0, and 0, negative 1. Now we're drawing in the cosine and the sine. They go in a common pattern of at 30, square root 3 over 2, 1 over 2, at 45, square root 2 over 2, square root 2 over 2, and at 60, 1 over 2, square root 3 over 2. And then, in terms of the quadrants, it's like normal. It goes positive, positive, then negative, positive, then negative, negative, and positive, negative. Next are some radians. They go in a common pattern of from the axis, the x-axis, going up the y-axis of 6, 4, 3. It starts off with just pi's in the first quadrant. It, then, in the second quadrant, it's like subtracting one from the denominator and putting pi. In the third quadrant, it's like adding one. And then the last one, you just have to remember 5, 7, 11. Now, as you can see, we're adding in the tangents. They go in square root 3 over 3, 1, and square root 3. And then it's positive, negative, positive, negative. On the y-axis, it's always no solution. On the x-axis, it's zero. Thank you for watching.